Hey, what's up everybody? Cats007 and today I bring you guys some forward and cowboy gameplay and in this gameplay me and Elias do absolutely amazing so please stay tuned and watch the entire video because we just go off. A little announcement, I have a discord server opening up so y'all better get y'all butts in there, you heard me? <laughs> um, hopping straight into the gameplay and a little side note, where the heck have I been? Like it's been what, a week, week or two? And I've kind of been AFK for a bit and it's because I've been busy with college and stuff so please forgive me. I really did miss all of y'all and interacting with my community. I haven't been playing as much but you know since I know life before and I got Hydra and Titan so I didn't really care about playing the game as much and I've been focusing on my studies. So aside from that I really did miss every single one of you and I cannot stress how much I love my community and how positive you guys all are. You know like low key if someone attacks me y'all right there like yo y'all pull up yo what's up let's get it <laughs> not nah, play but still i love my community you guys are so supportive and i couldn't ask for anything more hopping straight into the gameplay elias elias is the coding in factory olivan is gonna rotate the two pallet he's gonna vault the wind here take the speed boost gonna throw the pallet down over here I'm trying to separate as much distance from the hunter um qc's right behind him throws a line beautiful line beautiful line from the violinist elias is right there he might instant lasso or aim assist he's waiting for him to pick up breaks line of sight he's going for an instant no he drops baits the hunter's drop now he's gonna go for an aim assist he targets on and lassos through the wall that is beautiful some of you are wondering how do you get the last through the wall it's very simple what you do is you have to time it right before he turns and when he turns like before he turns against the wall you throw your lasso and that's how you get the last behind the wall um, Elias auto aiming again gets the pull against so two beautiful aim assist lassos and Elias just constantly rotating He's gonna take all around there somewhere else always gonna portal back into two-story Trying to create as much distance as possible and waste as much time as he can Now you guys know my motto always finish a cypher Excuse me always finish a cypher as forward as cowboy if anything unless they're like right next to you Then you know you can do little stuns blah blah blah, blah. but if you're across the map, there's no reason for your behind to be all the way next to the hunter and your cypher is across the map. Always finish a cypher. When you finish a cypher, that initiates go time. You get in there and try to have some fun. That's why I love a Horizon character because you, you get to have some fun. Now I know that the hunter drops this one location, so I time the dash perfectly. So when he drops, I have to take this specific angle for me to even pull it off to begin with. So as soon as he drops, you got to curve yourself just a little bit for that drop. Something I learned from another top forward, AOYX, I love you. I learned a lot from you. And I learned a lot from watching other people's videos. And it's kind of one of the biggest reasons why I love posting is because people learn from me. And I didn't learn majority of the stuff on my own. But it's good to share that knowledge that I have with other people in the community because I learn from other people too, you know? So Elias is there. I'm here kiting. He's trying to catch up to me. Throws path down right in front of my face. Now, when you're playing forward, you always want to maintain that medium to short distance, but always have a backup plan. You never just want to go straight in with your football and you know, nah. Always make sure, like, you know, listen, there are hunters who will chase you. Like my buddy Queen, like he will literally chase me till I run out of football. I am not even kidding. Like, so you have to make sure that you use the right amount of football when you use it and you have a backup plan like you know go to a pallet or you have somewhere to dash to so you don't get smacked because like if you short like you too short your dash you're giving the hunter a free hit and you also have to keep in mind you are a rescuer with tide turner so you cannot afford to get hit if you're harassing because then what's going to happen you're going to have someone else who's decoding and rotate all the way across the map so keep in mind you are a rescuer so when you're harassing you have that responsibility of also not getting hit now keep in mind i made sure of how much football i use how i how much i conserve my football i didn't go for a full stun i still have football for mid game end game so i have enough football to stun i have enough football to get away and i have some football to do some other stuff the cyphers are being rushed just to harass from the cowboy and the forward alone we're down to one cypher left that last cypher is going to be in factory where elias was decoding he should have finished his cypher but he was busy harassing but the cyphers are being primed i finished mine and uh persuadable is decoding across the map i'm gonna go for the save i see him here pick it up i see him noting i go for the stun try to stun him in between the pallet there should be a pallet stun but no his 
literally, it was literally on his toes and it even hit him. So watch, I use just a little bit of football, right? And I have a little bit in store just to make sure I can stun on chair, get a free save just like so. I have to worry about any lines or anything. Hits him, Cypher's pop, and we are all out of here. I remember the portal that Ollie set, making my way over to Moon Gate. Sorry, my apologies, uh, Factory Gate. And just so you know, Persuadable, this is Persuadable right here. <laughs> he was like, you know what? Let me go shoot the hunter. So Persuadable trans, um, how you say, rotates, not transfers. The way he rotates from where he was decoding all the way to the hunter just to shoot him. And then he pops excitement. Now I'm across the map. I got to make my way over there. Now I was like, okay, he might teleport, but no, he ended up popping excitement. My apologies for my battery notification. You know, those are annoying. So since he popped excitement, he can't teleport. So I'm like, okay, they're like, okay, come back to the gate. He can't teleport. He wasted excitement because, you know, per uh, Persuable shot him. And it sort of worked out in our favor, even though he got smacked in two seconds, but it really did bait the hunter's excitement. That means the hunter can't teleport across the map because he can't switch trades because he just activated excitement. Hunter's getting close. Elias lasts me, and that's GG. I'm Catch007, and I missed you all, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.